It's not the events themselves, but your response to them that truly matters. Did you know the ancient Stoics had a secret technique that made them immune to the chaos and emotional upheaval caused by difficult people in their lives? Picture having such a tool, a kind of mental armor, protecting you from the negative energy others might hurl your way. This isn't merely a relic of ancient history, it's a practical strategy capable of transforming your life today. Whether you're facing a challenging boss, a frustrating family member, or anyone who seems to drain your energy, Stoic Wisdom provides a powerful solution. In today's video, we're delving into how you can apply these Stoic principles to not just endure but flourish amid adversity. This goes beyond mere coping. It's about building a life filled with peace, resilience, and profound personal freedom. So, if you've ever felt burdened by someone else's negativity, or if you're simply seeking a more tranquil existence in this hectic world, you're in the right place. Let's embark on this journey together, armed with the timeless wisdom of Stoicism, to uncover the secrets of maintaining serenity no matter what life throws your way. The only thing I ask of you is not to skip this video in any way. If you're here, consider yourself different from the majority. Consider yourself an exception. Now act like one and don't skip any part of the content. Number one, minimize the narcissist's role in your life. This idea centers on drawing a line in the sand, deciding how much we allow external forces, particularly a narcissist, to affect our inner peace and tranquility. As Marcus Aurelius once said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. This powerful statement resonates deeply when we face the challenge of dealing with a narcissist. It reminds us that our true power lies not in changing the narcissist or their behavior, often beyond our control, but in altering how we respond and relate to them. In dealing with a narcissist, what we truly control is our reaction, our emotions, and the mental space we allocate to them. It's a challenging task, especially when emotions run high and the narcissist plays a significant role in our lives, be it as a family member, a partner, or a colleague. Seneca offers wisdom that complements this approach. We suffer more often in imagination than in reality. Many times the anxiety and distress we feel when dealing with a narcissist are amplified by our fears and expectations of what they might say or do next. By applying Seneca's insight, we learn to differentiate between the actual impact of their actions and the additional suffering we create in our minds. This doesn't trivialize the challenges posed by a narcissist. Rather, it empowers us to reclaim our mental space by focusing on the present reality instead of worst-case scenarios. Let's break this down a bit. Imagine you're carrying a backpack daily and every negative interaction, every attempt at manipulation, every hurtful comment from the narcissist adds a rock to this backpack. It's heavy, exhausting and slowing you down. What Stoicism teaches us is that we have the power to stop adding rocks to our backpack. We can't change the narcissist, but we can change how we let their actions affect us. Minimizing their role in our life begins with a conscious decision to shift our focus. This means actively working on redirecting our thoughts and energies toward things and people that uplift us, and activities that bring us joy and peace. It's about creating boundaries, both emotional and physical, that protect our well-being. This might involve limiting our interactions with the narcissist, changing the nature of our conversations to avoid giving them the ammunition to affect us, or in some cases, severing ties altogether. But it's important to acknowledge the emotional toll this process can take. Stoicism doesn't mean suppressing our feelings. It means acknowledging them, understanding them, and then making rational decisions about how to proceed. If you're dealing with a narcissistic parent or sibling, you're not just dealing with a problematic individual. You're grappling with the loss of the supportive, loving relationship you deserve. Number two, 
Establish and maintain boundaries. Setting boundaries is crucial when dealing with a narcissist. It's about defining what behaviors you will and will not tolerate, and communicating these boundaries clearly and assertively. The Stoics believed in the importance of self-respect and maintaining one's integrity, and this is where boundaries come into play. By establishing clear limits, you protect your emotional well-being and preserve your sense of self. Think of boundaries as the walls of your personal fortress. These walls are not impenetrable but serve to safeguard what is most important, your inner peace and mental health. Establishing boundaries may involve limiting the time you spend with the narcissist, refraining from engaging in arguments that go nowhere, or refusing to be drawn into their manipulative games. It's about deciding what kind of treatment you accept from others, and standing firm in that decision. To maintain these boundaries, it's essential to be consistent. Narcissists often test limits, pushing to see how much they can get away with. By consistently enforcing your boundaries, you send a clear message that you will not be manipulated or mistreated. This may require practice and patience, especially if you're not used to asserting yourself in this way, but over time, it will become a natural part of your interactions. Marcus Aurelius said, the soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts. When we allow others to overstep our boundaries, we let their negative influence permeate our being. By maintaining strong boundaries, we keep our thoughts and our inner life clear and focused on what truly matters. This process also involves self-reflection and understanding what triggers you and why. By knowing your triggers, you can better prepare for interactions with the narcissist and manage your reactions more effectively. In some cases, Maintaining boundaries might mean physically distancing yourself from the narcissist. If possible, create a safe space where their influence does not reach you. This can be your home, a room, or even a mental space where you retreat to regain your composure and clarity. The key is to have a refuge where you can process your thoughts and emotions without interference. Remember, Establishing and maintaining boundaries is not about being harsh or unkind. It's about self-preservation and respect. You deserve to live a life free from the undue influence of toxic individuals. By drawing these lines, you honor yourself and create a healthier, more balanced life. When implementing these strategies, it's crucial to acknowledge that change won't happen overnight. Dealing with a narcissist is often a long-term challenge, and there will be setbacks. The stoic approach is about progress, not perfection. Each step you take towards minimizing their role in your life and maintaining your boundaries is a victory in itself. By applying these principles, you not only protect your inner peace but also build resilience and strength. The Stoic Path is about finding tranquility amidst turmoil and maintaining your equilibrium despite external chaos. By adopting these strategies, you take control of your life, ensuring that your well-being and happiness are in your hands, not someone else's. In conclusion, the wisdom of Stoicism offers profound insights into dealing with difficult people, particularly narcissists. By minimizing their role in your life and establishing firm boundaries, you reclaim your power and protect your mental and emotional well-being. Remember, you have the strength within you to navigate these challenges and emerge stronger and more resilient. Let's continue this journey together, embracing the timeless wisdom of the Stoics to create a life of peace, resilience, and personal freedom. Number three. Practice mindfulness and present moment awareness. In dealing with a narcissist, it's easy to get caught up in their manipulations and lose sight of the present moment. Practicing mindfulness helps you stay grounded and focused on the here and now, rather than getting lost in worries about the past or anxieties about the future. Mindfulness is a core stoic practice, promoting clarity and calmness in the face of adversity. 
Mindfulness involves paying attention to your thoughts, feelings and bodily sensations without judgment. When interacting with a narcissist, this practice can help you become more aware of your emotional responses and prevent you from reacting impulsively. Instead of getting swept up in the drama, you can observe your feelings, acknowledge them and choose how to respond deliberately. Seneca wisely said, True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. By embracing this stoic principle, you can detach from the narcissist's attempts to control your emotions and stay anchored in the present moment. This doesn't mean ignoring their behavior, but rather maintaining your inner peace and composure despite it. One way to cultivate mindfulness is through regular meditation. Even a few minutes of daily meditation can help you develop a habit of present moment awareness. During meditation, focus on your breath, observing each inhale and exhale without trying to change them. If your mind wanders, gently bring your attention back to your breath. This practice trains your mind to stay present and can be incredibly beneficial when dealing with stressful interactions. Another aspect of mindfulness is practicing non-attachment. The Stoics taught that we should not attach ourselves to external outcomes, but rather focus on our internal state. When dealing with a narcissist, non-attachment means not letting their actions dictate your happiness or self-worth. You acknowledge their behavior, but you do not let it define you. Imagine you're standing in a river, and the narcissist's words and actions are like the current trying to pull you downstream. Mindfulness is like planting your feet firmly in the riverbed, staying rooted and stable despite the flow around you. By focusing on the present and not attaching yourself to the turmoil, you maintain your stability and peace. Incorporate mindfulness into your daily routine through simple practices like mindful breathing, mindful walking, or mindful eating. When you eat, take the time to savor each bite, paying attention to the flavors and textures. When you walk, notice the sensation of your feet touching the ground and the rhythm of your steps. These practices help you cultivate a state of present moment awareness that you can carry into your interactions with the narcissist. Additionally, journaling can be a powerful tool for mindfulness. At the end of each day, Take a few moments to write about your experiences, focusing on how you felt and how you responded. This reflection helps you become more aware of your patterns and progress, reinforcing your commitment to staying present and mindful. Remember, mindfulness is a skill that develops over time with practice and patience. It's not about achieving a perfect state of calm, but about consistently bringing yourself back to the present moment no matter how many times you get pulled away. By practicing mindfulness, you build resilience and fortitude, empowering yourself to handle the challenges posed by a narcissist with grace and poise. In summary, practicing mindfulness and present moment awareness is a vital component of dealing with a narcissist. By staying grounded in the present, you prevent their behavior from overwhelming you and maintain control over your emotional responses. Embrace the stoic principles of mindfulness to cultivate inner peace and resilience, ensuring that you remain calm and centered regardless of external chaos. Together, let's continue this journey, armed with the wisdom of the stoics, towards a life of tranquility and empowerment. Number four, embrace emotional detachment. Emotional detachment is a powerful stoic strategy when dealing with a narcissist. It means not allowing their actions and words to trigger intense emotional responses in you. By cultivating a sense of detachment, you protect your inner peace and maintain control over your emotions. Epictetus taught that it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This principle is particularly relevant when dealing with a narcissist. Their goal is often to provoke a reaction, feeding off the emotional energy they extract from you. By practicing emotional detachment, you deny them this power and preserve your mental and emotional well-being. 
Emotional detachment doesn't mean becoming cold or indifferent. Rather, it involves acknowledging your emotions without letting them overwhelm you. It's about observing your feelings from a distance, recognizing them without being consumed by them. This practice can be challenging, especially in emotionally charged situations, but it is achievable with consistent effort. One way to cultivate emotional detachment is through cognitive distancing. When you feel a strong emotional response to the narcissist's behavior, take a step back mentally and view the situation from a third-person perspective. Ask yourself how an impartial observer might interpret the situation. This mental shift helps you see things more objectively and reduces the intensity of your emotional reaction. Another technique is to focus on your breathing. When you notice your emotions rising, take a few deep breaths, inhaling slowly and exhaling fully. This simple act can help calm your mind and body, giving you a moment to regain your composure before responding. The Stoics often emphasized the importance of breath control in maintaining tranquility and self-control. Visualization can also be a helpful tool. Imagine yourself surrounded by a protective barrier that shields you from the narcissist's negative energy. Visualize their words and actions bouncing off this barrier, unable to penetrate and affect you. This mental image reinforces the idea of emotional detachment and strengthens your resolve to remain unaffected. Marcus Aurelius advised, the tranquility that comes when you stop caring what they say, or think, or do, only what you do. By focusing on your actions and responses rather than the narcissist's provocations, you maintain control over your emotional state. This shift in focus empowers you to act with intention and integrity, regardless of external pressures. Emotional detachment also involves letting go of the need for validation or approval from the narcissist. Recognize that their opinion of you is not a reflection of your worth or value. Your self-esteem should come from within, rooted in your own principles and values, not in the fleeting and often manipulative judgments of others. Journaling can again be a useful practice for emotional detachment. Write about your interactions with the narcissist, focusing on your emotional responses and how you manage them. Reflect on what worked well and where you might improve. This practice helps you gain insights into your emotional patterns and reinforces your commitment to staying detached. It's important to note that emotional detachment is a process, not an immediate change. Be patient with yourself as you work to develop this skill. There will be times when you feel more affected than others and that's okay. The key is to keep practicing and gradually build your resilience. In conclusion, embracing emotional detachment is a crucial step in dealing with a narcissist. By not allowing their behavior to trigger intense emotional reactions, you protect your inner peace and maintain control over your emotions. Utilize stoic principles and techniques to cultivate this detachment, ensuring that you remain centered and composed regardless of external provocations. Together, let's continue this journey, harnessing the wisdom of the Stoics to create a life of tranquility, resilience, and personal empowerment. Thank you for joining me on this journey into the wisdom of Stoicism and its practical applications for dealing with narcissists. I hope these insights and strategies have provided you with valuable tools to protect your inner peace and navigate challenging relationships with greater resilience. Remember, this journey is not about perfection, but progress. Each small step you take towards minimizing the influence of toxic individuals and maintaining your emotional well-being is a significant achievement. Be patient with yourself and allow the timeless teachings of the Stoics to guide you towards a life of tranquility and empowerment. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing for more content on practical wisdom and personal growth. Your support means the world to me, and I look forward to continuing this journey with you.
Together, let's build a community rooted in strength, peace, and profound personal freedom. Stay strong, stay centered, and remember, you have the power within you to create a life of serenity, no matter what challenges come your way. Thank you, and until next time, take care.